What's going on guys? Etika from the Etika World Network here to bring you some more of our Fire Emblem Awakening playthrough. And so far in the last episodes, the craziest thing happened. You know, something that I didn't really see coming. The fact that Emrin has killed herself is something which, I don't know, I mean, I just feel like it was a wasted move, especially considering the guy who it, went, it hinged on was Gangrel. I mean, there's a lot wrong with that and my emotions are kind of all over the place right now, so... You'll, you'll have to forgive me for that, but um, right now I'm just looking around on the map and um, I think this is another PvP team, well rather, another player team, but you know, I'm not going to mess with that for now. Um, in terms of things I've done with characters, I haven't really done too much. I've just been doing the little battles that pop up on the field to help Darja level up. So right now she's at level f 16, wow, okay, I got her up fast, but um, even though she's 16, I really don't know what I want to do with her. Like, the class that she can become is a knight and a um, archer. I don't know. I think I might just want to stay within the mage category of things, but I don't have a second seal right now, and I don't have that much money either. I only have um, 3,800, so I'm really kind of broke at the moment. But um, even though I am broke, let's see what this girl is selling here. So um, let's take a look. Maybe we can buy something that'll help us out for the next fight. So um, let's go. Uh... Oh, she has 11 sword. That's Robin's sword right there. I think I gotta buy it. I think I gotta buy it. Deals magical damage based on magic. <gasps> wow, so it's kind of like the Psy Shock equivalent, but in Fire Emblem. So it does, well, reverse, but it does magical damage, even though it's a sword. That's pretty damn cool. Oh man, I think I might want to buy this right now, <laughs> to be honest. Um, Elliewood, Blade. Uh, let me see, let me see. Bologna. Uh, you know what? I think I'm going to get that Levin Sword. <laughs> Just so I can put it on Robin. Just so I can be like, I have, like <laughs> you have so many tomes. Yeah, but I can only use them so many times. Which is why I carry this Levin sword. <laughs> yes, I want to do that. Fuck it, buy it. Alright, and um, that's it. I don't have the money for that. I really don't have the money for that at all. But my dumbass still bought it, so that's my fault. I don't know if it's going to benefit me right now. I don't even know if I can use it correctly. But, um, wait, I think I have some um, bullions on me. Let's just go down here, maybe we can... Yeah, I got two on me, so we got some cash back. Oh, it's a good thing we bought that. I got these Draco Shield and all this other stuff. I'm not going to use any of this yet until I understand how the game works better. So, um, yeah, I'll keep it at that. Um, yeah, we're good. I ain't trying to sell too much. I want to hold on to it as much as I can. I think some people have bullion still on them, though. Why does Lon Koo have a javelin on him? We gotta store that later. Um, yeah, I don't think anyone else had bullion on him. Maybe Tharju did though. Nah, she doesn't. Okay. Alright, well, it looks like we're good here, so we're just gonna leave now and I'm gonna go for some more story. Uh, I'm kinda I'm kinda confused, man. I don't know what the fuck can happen at this point. Like, why? <laughs> <laughs> this fucking game. Can we give Long Koo a weapon that can, you know, utilize... That can, he can utilize better for swords? He has B rank in swords. So. Rim Slayer. Um, he, I don't think he'll be good with the Levin Sword. A soothing Sword. It might just be good for him. Just take it. I'm still trying to get um, Donald's sword rank up. He can still only wield swords at level E right now, and it's kind of hurting me because I need this guy to have some more power in there. I want him to use that bullion sword so that way he can um, stack up on those, but eh, I guess that won't happen for now. Let's do a little bit of support. We'll do like two. So um, let's see, who does Starja have? Because right now, this chick is bad. So we're going we're gonna to try to see what she can oh, do. Hey. I actually have been pairing her up with Rickon a lot because Rickon has a lot of skill, which can help her out. And um, since he, of course, is a badass um, dark, not dark knight now, the defense and the magic boost and the skill boost help her a lot, I think. I, th I think it's a good pair. So let's see what they say. Hey, Tharja, you can, you know, do magic and stuff, right? Pretty much. Yes, I can do magic and stuff. Listen. Cool, so I'm... Oh, fly. Cool, so maybe you can teach me how to cast a curse? What? Did someone steal your lunch money? <laughs> no. Oh, God, yeah, he's a kid. <laughs> oh, jeepers, no. I just like learning new skills as well. Maybe. Curses and hexes are no simple matter, but perhaps you possess the talent. Wow. I'm sure, oh, oh, I'm sure I do. So you'll teach me that? <sighs> no. <laughs> well, come on. Hmm. 
Casting hexes is not a hobby to be picked up on a whim. Hey! I know, this is serious business. Super serious business. I'm just trying to get as strong as possible so I can be a key part of crime's army. I'm studying, fencing, wyvern riding, and even butter sculpting. You know, just in case. Pretty much. Hexes and curses are a different animal. A wild, untamable beast. I, I know something else that's a wild, untamable beast. <laughs> now forget that we had this conversation and go practice your butter sculpture. <sighs> well, fooey, I was hoping she would just say yes. But no worries, she's gonna learn that Rick and never, ever gives up. I'm the most persistent asshole in this game. And that's their support conversation. Kind of. It's a fly, man. And um, so now we are going to look at a different one Donald and Sully. Let's see. Brag. <laughs> I yield, I yield, mercy. <laughs> She's just like one of them knights out of the stories Ma used to tell. I'm just something fierce. <laughs> I am not like a knight, kid. I am a knight. Huh? Uh, you heard me then, did you? <laughs> Half the camp hears your every thought. You're not exactly subtle. This dude, yeah, he talks everything that he thinks out loud. <sighs> Begging your pardon, sir, ma'am. I didn't mean nothing by it. So, uh, do you think maybe you could tell me what being a knight is like? Mm -hmm. As long as you promise to stop calling me sir, ma'am. Yeah, what, what the fuck? And what are you asking anyway? Thinking of becoming a knight? Huh? Uh, oh gosh, no. It's just that knights and such is all stuff a legend to me. I ain't never seen one back on the farm, and now here you are, and I reckon I'm curious, is all. Mm -hmm. Curious to see how close I am to your story, but I ain't trying to impose on you. If it's a big hassle, just say so. Mm -hmm. It's fine. Come find me at dinner. We can talk there. Oh, I'm Sully. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Uh, Sully. That's mighty kind of you. Okay. Kinda cute, kinda cute. And um, Donald and Kellen actually have a really good relationship. And, uh, <laughs> cause I've been pairing these two a lot. Cause Kellen has been helping Donald a lot. Cause you know, right now, since he doesn't really have that extra um, ranking for swords, he really helps him to give him that extra boost in power. Hello Donald, I heard through the grapevine that the bilberries ripen. Have you been serving them to everybody in camp? Yeah. With brown sugar and cream, everybody loves them. I thought I had loads and loads, but everyone gobbled them up so fast. Last sake, they were gone before I knew it. <laughs> Oh, that's great. Damn. They made me promise to serve more once I had a new crop. You think them bushes there are ready? The berries are kind of red. No. Well, hold on. Let me try one. Blech. Sorry, Donald. These boys need another few weeks at least. Uh. I would have never thought that Kellen was a farmer. All right, then. Suppose I can go and cool my heels for a spell. I'm mighty glad I spoke to Kellen, the genius, before collecting them. What? I told you, I'm not that clever. I just happened to... Amazing. I wish I had half your brains. Remember them plants that was all droopy and dying? Well, I changed the soil like you said and got me a bummer crop, a bumper crop. I wager coppers and pebbles, coppers to pebbles and your pa and ma miss having you around the farm. Uh, oh, that's right. Most days they don't even know I was there. They never asked my opinion or anything. <laughs> that's about the dumbest thing I ever heard. Thank you. Gee, Donnie, you're the first person who ever appreciated my advice. Yeah. Who wouldn't appreciate it? You got brains using out of your ears. So. You'll stick around and teach me more stuff, right? Okay. Well, sure, I'll try to help out whenever I can, but isn't it strange that I'm te teaching you about farming and not about fighting? Huh? Heck no, I'm already planning for the peace to come. With these troubles, are, When these troubles are over, honest folk are going to return to their farms. We need to be ready so we can bring life back to this here land. If you say so. Perhaps when the time comes, I could help with that. I've done it! You do that for me? Gosh, thanks, Kellen. <sighs> then it's the deal. First we finish this war, Let's get her done. then we plant enough bilberries to make pies for everybody. And that is the final support conversation. Donald and Kellen, they got really close. You know, those guys kind of share a lot of common ground, so that's really cool to see. Really cool. And uh, finally, we got Nawi and Fred Dick. So let's see how these two ones are at. Ah, Nawi. Eat. What? what? Yeah, what is it? Why did you attempt to flee, my lady? Have I done something to anger you? Last night, I had a nightmare about my basket of fruit being stolen. Right. Oh, I see how such a thing might be. Except I don't. Why did you make? Why did that make you run or run away? Because you were the thief, and I didn't want to lose any more fruit. I see. That is unfortunate. I hate to think I wronged you, your dream or otherwise. Perhaps it would clear the air if I offered you my ration of fruit this evening. And I only ask one small thing in return. Really? For extra fruit, I'll do anything. Uh. Well then, I was hoping we might spend more time together. Freddie D. He doesn't fuck around, yo. He, he's direct. Yeah, no, that's not worth fruit. Plus, you're not really my type. No. Milady, I did not mean it as a proposal. What is this honorable idea? I, I, I want you to show me your dragon might. Huh? Why? Really? Opportunities to spar with a dragon are few and far in between. To even get a taste of dragon combat would be a most valuable experience. Mm. Don't you be scared and shit? Ah. 
That's why I need your help. Fear of the unknown is the fear of most dangerous. I'm not sure about this. Well. Um, you'd rather have two rations of fruit? This nigga's Whoa. robbing the hell out of me. Oh, right. I almost forgot. Okay, sure. Fuck it. Alright, so that's kind of cute. Frederick is such a rough son of a bitch. <laughs> Yo, I, I want to try fighting you. So, therefore, I mean, that, that's the only reason why I really want to be associated with you. Kind of messed up, but okay. So, what we're going to do now is proceed with the story. Oh, uh, man. What the fuck am I signing myself up for now? Let's do it. Chapter 10, Renewal. Oh, <laughs> crumb. Crumb. I feel so bad for him, man. Everyone ran. Everyone. They had to. Come on! Hurry, there should be carriages waiting just through the ravine. Do the ravine. Crumb. Crumb. Get your shit in order, dude. Right. I'm coming. Quickly, we're almost... What? Oh, fuck me. Are you kidding me? Come on. <clears throat> Plagueians. I knew it wouldn't be that easy. They're right in our way. We gotta fight. And just like that. So these guys are trying to leave. Oh, this is so sad. Damn. Look at all these niggas. Look at all these niggas. They're everywhere. Bones? What kind of fucking monster is this? Bones. Oh, um, uh, um. Okay, so I'm guessing the best approach to take with this thing. Oh, Mustafa, who's this? Probably not somebody that we can recruit. He's a berserker, apparently. So, um, no big deal there. I don't think he's gonna be that much of an issue. He can't even move. So, um. All right, what we're gonna do is, uh, I guess we'll be able to walk through here, so what we're gonna do is um, progress our way upwards and around using um, Kellum and Fred Dick as a bulwark in order to push through. They'll be the bastions of this whole thing, so um, yeah, hopefully. Damn, this is sad, man. This is really fucking sad. All right, so let's select our units. We're going to unselect everybody and then select from the bottom up, so right now, Kellum and Fred Dick are definitely going to be vital. We're going to need our healers. Maribel, um, let's use Lissa for this one. Um, we're also going to need our people that need leveling up. So Nawi, Donald, Garja, um, Sully, definitely. We're probably going to need Virion here. We're going to need um, Lanku, of course, too. We can use Pan, um, Dick and Rickon. And Muriel, I'm thinking, would be a good choice to take alongside with us, too. Yeah, Muriel, too. Okay, so we got ourselves a little bit of a strategy. Um, we got our people, at least, so let's save the game now. <sighs> so now, I'm guessing we, um... Let's see, what would your movement range be? Alright, so we're fine. As long as we, we can kill these two, no problem. Sully, you can go there. One, two, three, four. Sully can go here, and Lanku can go there. That's no problem. Ugh. And um, we're pretty much set. I want to use Frederick, and um, damn, man, this is sad. All right, and Tharja, this should all be fine. Let's save the game once more. Damn. Shit is getting serious in Fire Emblem, man. 